Hello and welcome back to the last episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. Today we're going to look into Sector 14, Task 9, the last task of the puzzle sector. So when I started out implementing this, I got these three test cases. And after I figured out that slope and intercept are actually uh, just fancy names to express lines, thing here is that we have two lines essentially, so this is a times x plus b, a times x plus b, the two lines, and apparently for uh, the same line we're supposed to return the string same line, for a parallel line we're, going, uh, we're supposed to return parallel lines as a result, and then uh, the logical uh, conclusion from the third case is that if we have two lines that are neither the same nor parallel, um, they're going to intersect at some point, so what we compute here is the intersection. Okay, so let's go about this task. Say, okay, if um, the slopes are the same and the intercepts are the same, then I obviously have the same line, right? So in this case, return same line. Else, if I have that the slopes are the same, I have a parallel line. And the other case, I have to compute the um, intersection point. And computing the intersection point, um, I actually looked that up how to do that, but it's not that difficult. So essentially say, okay, we have a double for the intersection point for the x, which is um, intercept, sorry, it's y intercept of two, the second one minus y intercept of the first one divided by, and we have to insert a cast here to make sure these integers get to a double and it's not uh, um, rounded wrongly, uh, divided by slope 1 minus slope 2, and then we can easily compute the y value here by just saying, okay, it's slope 1 times x plus y intercept 1 and then we can return um, with a decent formatting like x here y here this this is how I know this is supposed to be space return that one and this should solve the task if I don't break what did I do wrong here if slope equals slope and intercept equals ah, there's a missing y which explains not exactly the error but at least why this goes wrong then I misspelled parallel lines no I missed the uh, s at the end so this should solve the task, but um, for some strange reason I get the full skill rating now, so I come to the come to think that either Microsoft changed the skill rating for this task in the mean, in the meantime, or because I solved it before with the full skill rating, the skill rating is not going down anymore. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. This could imply that for the last tasks, uh, I also got the full skill rating because I did it before in C-sharp and not because it accepts my Java solution. Uh, in fact, initially, I did not get the full skill rating for this solution. Um, and it, I spent quite a, quite some time, as you can see from the number of attempts I had at this task, I spent quite some time trying to optimize this task to get the full skill rating. In the end, it turned out that I was deceived by um, my goodwill or my tendency to generalize uh, the problem solution as a programmer 
because the solution that finally uh, got me the full skill rating is let me just see can I copy that over yes I can copy that over is this one so apparently there are exactly three test cases computed by um, PAX here and the only one for the interception is this one uh, we see here so specifying the constant interception point uh, actually was the solution that finally got me the full skill rating I really don't like that um, I feel like this is kind of a trick question in the last task so from my point of view that was not a really nice ending for my code hunt career but after all I solved the task I got the full skill rating so why complain um, yeah this is it okay guys so as you've seen throughout the last episodes, uh, I managed to finish Sector 14 and with finishing Sector 14 I actually managed to finish all the sectors of Code Hunt. So we're done with through, this is over and even though Microsoft announced that there will be new levels in the default zone of Code Hunt, apparently it takes them more time to publish those. So for the time being this is over. Um, Let's have a look at the leaderboard. I actually, uh, when I first finished, I was on the fourth position because somebody else managed to finish like a literally half an hour before me with all the tasks and all the uh, skill ratings. Um, that that annoyed me quite a bit, but for some reason, I just realized that I actually managed to move up to the third position. So either there went something wrong in the algorithm and I surpassed this Okanyopal guy here or somebody dropped out, deleted this account or whatever, I'm not even sure if that's possible, let me check delete score and game progress, so okay maybe maybe that happened, maybe somebody deleted his account after he finished um, so I only got a fifth position but thanks to whoever deleted his account I moved up to the third position now. Uh, I'm looking, I'm look, I'm quite uh, curious and excited to look at the new levels uh, if they appear somewhere, um, because I would really like to see where it goes with Cotent and what other ideas they have to um, put new challenges out here. Because I don't, I hope, I hope uh, seriously that they have some uh, more interesting ideas up the sleeves. Uh, and don't just repeat the same style of questions with uh, more and more and more and more code samples because at some point it just gets boring. Um, something else I would really like to comment on is um, for a, for research implementation, this is actually quite stable uh, even though it's some, somewhat annoying in the meantime. Uh, if you guys watch all my episodes then you probably realize, realize that I complained a lot about things that did not work and things that were not fast and things that whatever didn't do what I wanted. But I think in general it's a quite quite a nice idea and it's quite stable and you can work with it. Um, one thing I didn't like so much about the game is that the game idea actually gets lost after a while, a bit at least. Um, it's essentially only the introduction tutorial that has this game idea where it says okay you want to reconstruct some program and you have to find some code snippets to hack yourself into whatever what but uh, after the second level or third level I completely forgot about that idea so it would be really nice if a few research guys from Microsoft could add some more story to this game like uh, you, you start with small code snippets and then you can use those code snippets to build bigger things this would be really interesting and really fun because then you had some game progress and some storyline in here and it would really be a game uh, instead of just uh, a nice idea of a game and then just solving code tasks. Something I'd really like to see. But maybe that's up for the future, maybe not, who knows. I'm excited anyways to see the, the levels that come up and I hope that you guys will be with me then when I continue my code hunt. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. 
So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.